Assalamualaikum everybody and again good morning to you guys. Okay, today uh, okay I'll continue the chapter 3 under digital circuit and digital uh, system. So I'm going to continue today about uh, a combinational combinational circuit. Okay. So combinational circuit is basically a circuit uh, that create a certain function okay by combining all those logic gates okay so for example okay here we have this a b c d uh, with an or gate okay you combine everything you got this one we count this as one combinational circuit okay so they come in from one gate and ends with another gate okay so they have a lot of functions especially in building circuits that uh, that creates uh, a memory or ALU that uh, helps you in calculating additional subtraction, multiplication, a lot more things, comparison, uh, compare, comparator. So all those uh, functions actually created through the combinational circuits. Okay. So one of the most famous com famous combinational circuit is what we call half adder. Okay. So a half adder is basically a combinational circuit that add two values and give out a carry and also the sum of that value. Okay. So basically, this one okay comprise of x or and also an n gate. If you see, let's easily uh, look into this uh, equation here. The input here okay is x and y. Okay, to x and y, and the sum here is the result at the bottom, and also the output is like for example in binary one plus one is one zero right, so zero goes down and one as the output. So why do we need x or because x or one input ones okay and uh, two ones okay the output will become zero. It's not an n okay that become one it's, it's become zero and at this one as well we need uh, a, not, uh, a circuit that can help us to notify that when the output both output is one okay there will be a carry one okay so here the output becomes zero and one so this one is where we have a half at the circuit okay uh, so then we have Continuing the half adder, we have a full adder circuit. Okay, so full adder circuit basically a circuit like the half adder, but instead only have x and y. We have a carry in, means that previously carry uh, previously added bits. Like for example, previously we have one plus one carry out one. Okay, so we need to use this one again in the calculation if we have a second binary here. So in this case. In case of second binary here, so you have another input that came from the first binary and you add it again down here and publish back another sum and output. So this one is what we call a full adder. So a full adder is basically you have two half adder circuit combined with an OR gate. Okay, so you have this one, okay, that can give out, like for example, x is equal 1, y equal 1, and a carry equal 1. Uh, so this one, instead of 1, 0, it become 1, 1. Uh, so this one is a special one. So other than that, in case either one, okay, like for example, if x equals 0, carry is 1, and y is, is 1, okay, the sum is 0, and the carry out is 1. So it means that the, the result is 1, 0. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Okay, so here is 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. Okay, so this is where you have the full adder circuit that creates uh, addition with the value that been carried over from the previous bit okay so when you have half adder full adder uh, aligned together okay beginning from half adder which half adder is not uh, is not the uh, half adder is the beginning part so where half adder doesn't have a carry so from half adder here the result will be, in this case, is a 4-bit, 4-bit question of addition x and y. Okay, you have this 4-bit for x and 4-bit for y. So when this uh, value adds to each other, okay, so it goes to half adder first, and then carry out, and you add with the second value. Okay, this one, we, this time we are going to use full adder. 
and then it carries again full adder full adder full adder up until the end and if this case okay because it is more than uh, the four bit previously allocated this one is count as overflow like what we did in chapter 2 when you add a certain binary more than the allocated space okay the last one will become an overflow usually the overflow they will be notified through an overflow flag okay in your pc so other other circuit that we have here is a complementer so complementer the work is easy okay it's just change from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 okay uh, 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so negative number become positive and the positive number become negative so why do we need this okay so basically why we need this is basically because one way in the logic circle there are no subtraction directly okay there are only addition with negative numbers so when you want to subtract one number basically you need to add that negative number so that's why the second number usually we enter it into complementer first change it into negative number and add it with the first number okay uh, first number so the first number so basically uh, adding a half uh, adding a full adder a line of full adder circuit with a complementer will create a subtractor okay so this is a way for us to subtract values okay so this is where you have addition and subtraction values so you have the first value in register and you have a b value okay so in this case okay if it's a, a subtraction okay you have to enter it into a complementer okay through a switch okay so complementer uh, is subtraction it goes to complementer it's an addition it doesn't go to complementer it goes directly to the adder okay so overflow is when you have an extra bit at the end okay so this is where you create a, a line between addition or subtraction okay depending on the plus or the minus button that you press especially in your calculator okay so other than that we have a comparator so if you are familiar with programming you always remember inside your programming you have a conditional like for example if this become that if that become this so comparator is where you design uh, you decide whether okay a is either less than b a is equal b or a is equal uh, is more than b or a is not equal b okay so how do they define so basically they subtract with each other a subtract with b okay uh, a subtract with b okay if the answer is negative number, okay, A subtract B, okay, if the answer is negative number, means that A is smaller than B. Ah, we know that one, right? If A subtract with, uh, if A subtract with B, you got a positive number, means that A is bigger than B. If A subtract with B, you got zero, means that A is equal B. Uh, so basically these three equation only can you this can help you decide whether a is smaller or bigger than b or even equal than b so this is where comparator comes in and basically you see when i mention this the origin goes back to the half adder and full adder so that's why half adder and full adder is important inside your pc it even can create comparator for you so and then we have multiplier okay so multiplier basically to multiply circuits okay but to multiply circuits so the way you multiply is uh, when you multiply like for example uh, one value okay seven times six like for example seven times six so when you do seven times six means seven will add seven six times right seven will add seven six times so it will go on 7 plus 7 7 plus the result of 7 plus 7 is 40 and then plus another 7 21 plus another 7 28 plus another 7 35 plus another 7 and if it's trigger 6 okay oh 49 and uh, 42 so you will become 42 and then the result is published so basically it goes back to the half adder and full adder 
for you to create the multiplication circle as well. Okay. So other than that, we have decoder. Okay, basically decoder. Okay, so it's a pattern that translates a certain patterns into a real pattern. Okay. So okay, for example, you have uh, two inputs. You want to decode it into four output. Okay. So this one usually based on uh, people who try to secure or to make the data is more simpler. Okay, they use a decoder. So an opposite of decoder is usually an encoder. So encoder basically codes, encodes a data, original data into a more simplified version of data, not just for security. It's just for to make sure that it can be carried across a smaller line or less traffic, something like that. And when it arrives into a certain location, it will be decoded into a certain protocol. Okay, and it get the original data back. So this is where encoder and decoder comes in. Okay, and then we have a multiplexer. So multiplexer is where uh, you decide what kind of output you want. So you have, for example, three output uh, inputs, and you only want one output, one of the output to come out. Okay, so you can uh, by using the control lines in the multiplexer, you can give an input so that the multiplexer will select the output that you want as the output. Okay. So this is where a multiplexer comes in and how it works. So basically, okay, for 2-bit ALU, okay, so here, okay, what I saw, uh, I show you here is a 2-bit ALU, okay. So 2-bit ALU, okay, uh, you can uh, uh, create it by yourself if you want, okay. So you can download them. Okay, uh, if you have a 2-bit ALU here, okay, so inside here where all the half adder, full adder, okay, decoder here you see uh, appear, okay, so sometimes even we can do operator, everything, uh, comparator, okay, in case of bigger bit size. So in your PC, you have up to 64 bits, so you imagine how big your PC can conduct the calculation with, okay. So, in case you are interested to build this and see the result for yourself, okay, I would suggest for you to download uh, a software for simulating LogiSim called, uh, uh, a software to, for simulating digital circuit called LogiSim. So, this one is an open source, okay, you can download them and install it in your PC. It's not that heavy, you can try and build them by yourself. Okay, you determine the input and output. Maybe I'll do one sample uh, of uh, uh, exercise using this later on. Okay, so feel free to try first. Okay, and I introduce to you uh, later on about this one. Okay, so download them. You can download the press the button download here, and you can download through the source for that. Okay, so feel free to download and run them in your PC. Okay. So it takes time to download, but okay, it should be fine. Okay, once you finish download, you can run them on your PC. Okay, so that's all for today from me. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, for another video. Thank you for your subscription and your commitment in the course. Okay, I appreciate all those subscription and likes. For those who haven't subscribed, please do subscribe my channel so you get a further update later on on my video. So that's all from me, Dr. Shafi Fauzi Kamruzaman. I see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.